Father's love, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Devotional for August the 25th from Finders Keepers, Finders of Truth, Keepers of Faith. Today's quote, They have sold the truth for popularity. It's from Derek Prince. The title of this one, The prescribed way to deal with the devil's lies is to know and obey God's truth. After the devil had quoted and misused the word of God to Jesus, he stopped him dead in his tracks by correctly quoting and using scripture. His first and effective rebuttal to the devil's tactic was, in Matthew 4, verse 4, it is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Peter who often put his foot into his mouth because he got his mind off the word, later said this in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2, Like newborn babes long for the pure milk of the word, that by it you may grow in respect to salvation. The Apostle Paul taught that the Christian soldier's weapon of mass destruction against the devil was the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. It is by the inspired Word of God, not by private interpretations of men, that Christian servants and soldiers are made adequate and equipped for every good work. Second Timothy verse three or chapter three verse seventeen that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. 2 Peter chapter 1 verses 20 and 21 Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Only when we decide to grow up into mighty men and women of valor, adorned with the full spiritual armor, and cease being babes in church nurseries, will we see the kingdom of darkness invaded by the kingdom of God. Then the enemies of God will be put in their proper place, crushed under the feet of those proclaiming the gospel of peace. Romans chapter 10 verse 15 And how shall they preach except they be sent? It is written How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 24 and 25 Then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power, for he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 13 But to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool? I hope today's devotional blesses you. And I hope that you remember the best way to deal with all the lies of the enemy is to know and obey the word, the truth of our Father. I hope you take the time to read your scriptures and to take them to the Father so they can reveal things to you through His Spirit and equip you for all His good works. Don't forget to pray for the children. They sure do need it. And our fellow brothers and sisters all around the world 
and all those still lost in the darkness, so that they too may someday find the light. May our Father bless you, keep you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace. I'll see you next time.